Hi there, 30 Day Challenges, Caro here, and welcome to today's video on day 12. The topic for today is going to be how to create a Blogger blog. Now, Blogger is actually brought to you by Google. It's a free blogging platform. It has been available, gosh, for as long as I've been around in the internet world, which is all of 2005. But the point with that is that even though it's considered a Web 2.0 hosting platform, it has actually been around since before the whole Web 2.0 became a popular part of our vernacular. The thing with Blogger is I've seen it change over, or evolve would be a better word, over the years to a more sophisticated end result that is actually easier for you to use. So I feel really confident in taking you through this video and showing you Blogger that you will have no problems at all. I, I find it actually one of the few tools that really is intuitive for newbies. And I can say that from personal experience because I was first introduced to it when I started as well. Now before I get into the video, there is something that I just want to clarify for some of you out there. And that's to do with the type of content that you're putting into each of these Web 2.0 platforms. So, so far we've had easy articles, we've had Scribed, we've had Hub Pages and Squidoo. So with each of these, they are all to be a unique article, which is also an original article. We use those two words meaning the same, they're interchangeable. Now, again, just to clarify or to confirm for people, what that means is that it is something that each article, you have written yourself as a fresh article. Each article of your seven to 10 that you have written or are still writing is different to each other. So when we say unique content or original content, we're not just saying that it's something that you've created and then you go and replicate it because that effectively is also duplicate content as well. It just so happens that you're the one duplicating your own content. So with this platform, with the Squidoo, with the hub pages, with the Scribe, with the Easy and Articles, there should be a different article on your theme keyword in each of those particular hosting platforms. So I think that that should clarify for those that weren't 100% sure about that. So let's get cracking. Let's get into this blogger. Um, I'm quite excited about what theme I'm going to choose for today. So come with me. Okay then, so I've gone to the Google search page, page and I've just typed in blogger blog and I click on this link here. So it's www.blogger.com. Now for most of you, it's going to be about creating a blog. I already have an account, but I'll just take you through this now. So you click on that and you simply put in your email address. If you have a Gmail address, you can use that and you enter your password and a display name that you would like and then simply go continue. So it's very straightforward. They will tell you if you already have an address on record and that Google has and they will, um, you know, they will basically tell you what you need to do next. So it's very simple to get in. I'm actually going to go back now because I do have one. So I'll pause here and sign on it. Okay, as I said, I already have a an account with this particular email address, and I've already loaded up this just so you can see for yourself. You can view your profile. You can edit your profile here and edit your photo. So you just load up a photo and write what you'd like in your profile. I just give, this just gives you an idea of what I have. So, up to you how much you want to put. I do like to, as, as I've said with my other videos, I do like to have a sense of personality, a connection. Everything with internet marketing, in my opinion, is also about relationship building. So it's nice to know somebody or have a feeling that you know somebody. So let's get cracking and create a blog now. First step, which is very easy, is to actually type in what you're going to call your blog. And I'm going to check to see if my using my theme keywords, this is what I recommend you do using your theme keyword, I'd like it to be Australian Miss Cat, which is my theme keyword. Let's see if it's available. Yay. Now, if this isn't available to you, same as what I said with the Squidoo, I'm a bit of a fan of putting something like one or Australian Mist Cat Breed or, you 
know, I would have done that if that if this one wasn't available. I find a way to keep it more like that without dashes if I can, or maybe I'll put one in like um, Australian Dash Miss Cat. And here you have your templates to choose from, and I think I am going to go with this one and then continue here. Wow, it's been created already. As simple as that. So, again, being keyword rich, and we're focusing on the the theme keyword now. I'm not going to use this title. My um, computer has remembered this, but I've already used that elsewhere. So I want to create a new title. I like every title that I have to be slightly different because, again, I'm thinking unique. I'm thinking not duplicating anything that I've done anywhere else. All right, now. I do have some text that I've prepared earlier in my Google Documents. This is a unique article, so it's different to any of the other articles that I've written. And I will just pause here and go and grab it from my Google Documents. Okay, so this is what I have, my new unique article. I'm really pressing home that point this time. And as you can see, I always start off with the theme keyword as soon as possible. So I love the Australian Miss Cat. Now I'm going to bold this here. Such a beautiful WYSIWYG type interface. I just really, really love it. Here it is again. And I've put it here as well. Now, my rule of thumb is always, and they're not doing an underline, but I'm going to be doing this anyway. My rule of thumb is always no more than three links in any particular post because I feel like doing more becomes seems spam, spammy. So really 30 day challenges listening to this, I do encourage you just to do three links in this particular post, maximum. You can always do minimum. So let's have a look at this one. I am going to bold this as well. And this is how simple it is. You just press on. So for that, I've highlighted that. I'm going to then press this and I just type in my blog. So I'm wanting this particular blogger blog to link back to my WordPress direct blog. So AustralianMistCat.com. Now as far as incentivizing people to go, I mean this is very, very basic. If you want to find out more, go to this website here. Often in my copy, you can work the copy so that it just do this one as well so that it um, you know is the story that you're telling it's the article you're telling I also like to encourage in some way people to go so a call of action to my particular um, main ranking vehicle which is then going to link to hopefully your money page where they can spend some money so I'll do that link later so with this, I might say something like, I went on a mission to educate myself on the Australian Mist Cat. Now that's perfect to encourage somebody to link to that. So I do that. Now as far as tags, this is another example of one of these. It's about, um, it's about having commas between each word. So I'm going to do Australian. In fact, no, I think I can get away with this. I could very recently. If not, it will default back to a comma after each word. And this is something that came up in the forum with, I think it was um, with the easy articles, people asking about the commas. Different interfaces have different um, setups with regards to labels or tags or so forth. So you just go with it. So we'll see how that comes out. And it's really as um, simple as publish post. So here we go. And I could preview it if I wanted to. I could put it into HTML. But I'm making this very simple. I'll let you look around it some more if you would like to. But this is as simple as it gets. And view blog. Should we have a look? Very, very simple. Now, let me just take you into a few basic settings. So layout. 
So I can rearrange things. I actually want that to go up there, go there, and simply save. So I can play around with things, I can add more elements, I can edit it, I can pick a new template. Again, it's all very, very wonderfully easy, and let's have a quick look at the blog. There it is, so I've just changed that. So look, rather than take up this time on the video going through, because these parts, seriously, are not essential to what you need to know to have um, you know, a blog that can get indexed. Main thing is posting. The main, most important thing is, and let's view the blog again here, is that this piece of copy is original. And as we've said before, between 350 to 500 words, but please, it's something you've written yourself and it differs to the other articles that you have. But hasn't that been so easy? So let's go and put it in traffic bug now. Back again, 30 day challenge as well. <laughs> That's even surprised me how easy it um, been. It's, it's most probably been a few months since I've done a blog a blog and I would swear that that is even easier than the last time I used it. So. It is a platform that's very user friendly. As I said before, with those settings, go and have a look yourself. I know when I started off as a newbie, I honestly was too scared to press any button in case I think it was going to self-destruct and um, I'm still here. So have a play around. Nothing's really going to give you a huge advantage with regards to the settings in Blogger over anything else. It's really personal preference. Like I've said, I like to moderate comments. It's just because I'm in um, a couple of niches that it serves me to moderate comments. So that's something I do. I do like to allow people to um, leave their URLs and so forth because I'm moderating the comments so I can certainly delete it out if I want to. So that's something that's a personal sort of pet thing with mine. How you archive, how you date stamp, everything like that is honestly up to you. So very easy, choose your template, can change your template. As I said before, Please leave off AdSense for now. Um, the other thing again, I think I'm going to sound like I'm repeating myself here, but seriously, it's a unique original article. So it's different to any of the other articles that you've loaded up in anything else. And every single article that you've created is to be different from the other article that you've created. And even if you say, gosh, there's not a lot on this topic, there's a particular niche that I've done worked on with my friend and honestly it's it's about as exciting as watching paint dry or as if I was to write about watching paint dry and I've managed and yes sometimes I felt like um, maybe kicking a wall or tearing my hair out I remember the bigger picture of what I actually want to achieve so I just you know get on with it and and I would really recommend for yourself, you can always write something about something, you really can. And, and another tip I'd say to you, which I did actually share last year, pretend you're a woman, um, for you men out there, and for women, well, it's very easy. And you know how it's um, stereotypical that we say the same thing several times, but we just, you know, say it slightly different. Tip for you, write as if you're a woman and you're telling the same story <laughs> over and over and over again, but each time's slightly a slightly different version so without further ado i think i'm going to end here i hope you're having a lovely day in whatever part of the world you're in take care and i look forward to talking to you again soon see you bye